Last week we met a farmer's daughter, Pietro became a grandma and did some challenging cooking through very busy seas. This time we tried to outrun the storm, explored some more underwater beauty and birthday celebrations with sailing vessel Noma. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietro. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We had a one night stop over at Marsh Harbour before heading for Palki for some more great snorkeling. I just finished cleaning the hull. I think we're going to drop the pegs and just behind here is a nice snorkel area or so they say, they claim. But look at these waters. Sisu is anchored very shallow. <laughs> very, very, very shallow. And I've come out here to say Just left the tanker, leaving Fowl Key. It was one of those great snorkeling experiences. Would have been better if we had our scuba gear on, but you never know when they say a reef, how high the reef is, how big the reef is, and how deep it is. Well, we know how deep it is around the reef, but we don't know how high the reef is. So we got our Genoa up. Not, mm, it's not much wind, but I think it will be enough wind to <laughs> to mess up the mic. We we still don't have our fluffy mic. It, no, the yeah, the salt water is not good for our GoPros. This is not really. I, I cannot tell you how many GoPros we went through. But thanks for the Patreons because if they didn't support us we will just run out of gopros we will go broke <laughs> so thank you for the patreons then it was an awesome smooth sail all the way to great guana key and a lovely beach pride what more can a person ask for right our fluffy mic is gone as you know by now hopefully but we just anchored here off Hopetown. There's the Hopetown Lighthouse. But it's a pretty busy, busy anchorage. the lighthouse sunset is approaching and we just secured the pigs over here and we've got another this is a much cheaper or local place so the grocery store is over there the liquor store is through that window over there provisioning and a cold beer done and dusted we 
we had a lot of boat jobs today. Uh, anchor that doesn't want to work. So windless is again giving us issues with the control box. Peter was fixing the helm, the, the, the zipper over there. And then one of the alternators there didn't want to work, so it crashed both alternators. This one also crashed, so I had to disconnect this one and then swap those two around. There's a lot of stuff that we have to do. And we are here at Pete's place. Well, Pete's place is, you have to go all around, you will see. Let us take you there. <laughs> okay, we've been through this little entrance twice already. The first time we got stuck. And then we came and anchored up, out, and then we came back again at high tide. And we went through, but then there was no mooring ball inside. And you can't book these damn things. So it's high tide now, so all these boats are coming in now. And we are in the beach. So we'll make it. Very cute little harbour. And that is where we are going to. No jumping off the docks. And we are on our way to Pete's Pup and Grown. Apparently there's a gallery too. So let's see what we can get to eat. And? I'm your waitress tonight, sir. Are oh, you the waitress? You need to give me the tip tonight. Is it? I've been up and down. Or the place. Or the place. Petra is contemplating what should we make in this crazy seas? So we are on our way to Nassau and we have an appointment with the US Embassy. Oh, not we, Pietro. And it is the worst time to select this <laughs> to go. Ay, ay, ay. We don't even sail it. <laughs> oh, we, it's not even sailable. Because the, the wind is there's the wind so there is some some wind that we can use the wind is fine but the sails will not fly in this kind of like look at this and we pretty much far of course already <laughs> to see if we can get a sailable angle but it's just not sailable the wing the, the sails will just flap 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 okay so that translates to this on the radar it is coming for us and that one is four mile that ring is eight miles so it's eight miles behind us now nah, it's going to be uh, exciting times so what I did here is you have to set your radar for weather because if you put it on coastal or harbor then you see that if you put it on harbor you will see actually nothing and in coastal you will see something as the rain starts falling and in offshore you will see a little bit more but if you put it on weather, it will show you all the weather, there's a body of water. So that is how this is working. So we try to outrun it, but we only have our Genoa up and we also have our port engine on to counter for the leeway. So we, we, we're in a little bit of a dilemma. We want... That I could hear thunder. I could hear thunder. So we cannot arrive at Nassau this early because it will be dark and all of those things. So anchoring in the dark is not so good. But we also need to outrun that storm. So it's going to be. <laughs> I don't know what to do. 
we need to slow down because we are definitely too early but do we want to slow down for that that's going to be nasty very very nasty okay we didn't make it the rain is all around us and if you can see here the sea is much more flatter but the wind is a little bit stronger and we do see lightning and we do see via the thunder but it would appear as it is a little bit far at this moment but nevertheless we put all the electronics either in the safe or in a microwave or in the oven so, except for this one that I'm recording on And we are in the middle of it. It is pouring. But since you needed this wash, we were banging hectically into waves earlier today, so this is a good relief. The wind died away almost completely. We have something like 1.8 knots apparent wind. If you look up there, you can see when the thing swing all around. <laughs> so apparent wind is from any direction. So my finger healed completely and the US Embassy could successfully take my fingerprints. Then it was off to see your froggies for some celebrations. We just started the pics. We're still hanging here, it's funny current. The wind blows like this and the current goes like that way. Put our trash back in. Put some masks. Masks. And on my back is an alternator. So we're going to try and find an uh, alternator repair shop. So the wind is going to, going to make a maracas, but we thought maybe you want some video and we'll tolerate a little bit of wind noise. But we tied the things up. We need to take the bag. Pedro is going to find the office and pay for the dinghy dock. $25. Can you believe it? And yeah, so we are at the Bay Marina. Morning. The finest cowboys are still good. Right? <laughs> good morning, ma'am. Hey, sugar. The trash. Wait, oh, I'm going to go put it outside. Okay, one alternator place. I just want to sell a new one and we don't have money so we're looking now for another alternator in this small alley so we picked this street because it looked like a small little street that's not too busy but it, it landed up being pretty darn busy and it's so narrow and it's a dual way two way but um, there can only be one car at a time on the road, so the one has to pull off. <laughs> and then they still have to ne negotiate us as well. And then the, a tactical oh, yes, the squad, team. squad team with three police cars stopping us. Are we sure we want to walk here? After walking for miles and miles, we came up empty handed. Not one place that could fix the alternators. And by the way, that was one of three alternators that we lost. The last time we came here with bicycles, there was a lot of dogs. And they mean looking dogs as well. <laughs> they weren't friendly, the other one. There was a whole crowd that attacked Frick on his bike. 
But I, like a scaredy cat, just ducked across the road to the other side. I was a decoy. We need to get past that big boat. Because. We're going to happy birthday to you, Noah. <laughs> they're on a. Wow. The big boat's going. They're on a lagoon 46. And that's a very beautiful lagoon. Yeah, it's so one of the the best lagoons ever made. Oh, this big so, boat is going. So we're gonna challenge this big boat. We're gonna overtake it. Oh really? Oh, I don't know. And, and Pietro made a big nice thingy. Thingy. We're in a race with the independence of the seas. That side, that side, that side. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> you wanna just hook us on the feet? Yeah. That would be fine. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my hands are full. <laughs> Play us ready. Then no, so we cook good. we cook the the moisture, oh yeah, the, what is it called? The water, we let it cook until it's crispy. And then it's ready. We add the uh, trims and the mussels and the clams. Oh. Let's amazing. have some. Sounds Start amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got some champagne. Oh, what's this? Champagne. Champers, yeah. Yes. Okay. Happy birthday, uh, man. Oh, yeah, where's your. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we also, we also I think so. Happy I birthday. <laughs> Oh, Pietro has nothing. What are you looking for? I'm going to look now for how yeah. <laughs> What? Are you quite 32. 32 what? Oh. 2032 expires. 2032, so awesome! Yeah. Oh, great stuff. Okay, celebration time. Yay! <laughs> so Pietro has the song in her mind. In my head, and I don't know why, and I don't even know all the words. Is that baby soup? My baby soup. I don't even know the words. Buddy Oli. But anyway, so we are just leaving now Nassau. Nassau, or Nassau, whatever you would prefer. Um, and Peter got her visa. My US of a visa for 10 years multiple entry. Super job. Yeah, so 10 years multiple entry. We can do that. Uh, you oh, go, no, go. <laughs> yeah, you beat now. And guess which direction we are now? <laughs> we are heading for the US of A. And we've got a code app. So we're doing about, oh, we need to go faster. We're not going to make it in time for sunset. So we are putting the Kaudi up and we heading now for the Berry Islands, where we will stay there for a few days until the wind changes for the U.S. of A. Flash Conch Bar was started by Chester. He was born, nobody knows how long ago, and raised on the island. After his father's death in 74, Chester inherited his dream to bring the family back together. Nearly 20 years of hard work and saving, he finally had enough to start his own business. Chester's mom, Flo, became head chef or chef, Chester bartender. Tragically, Flo passed away in 2011, but her name will live on. Though humble beginnings, Flo's close conch bar now enjoys 
a loyal, steady stream of patrons. Please visit his Facebook page, link in the description below. So we just spent a little bit of time here at Flows Conk Bar and there's the man himself, Luke <laughs> Chester, Aloha. you were awesome, thank you very much sir Thank you, <laughs> thank you for coming Yeah, no, it was very good And this is the view you have, it's so amazing We have Tupex over here <laughs> It is a very, very tricky ladder This ladder is not one of the best but just look oh yeah out of his garden oh shame <laughs> yeah homegrown tomatoes chester gave us some homegrown tomatoes and so that's not issues issues over there we are too close to the side but there's also a reef over there so I couldn't go out so we're kind of like stuck in this little canal channel here and Sisu is not happy or the sea is not happy not any sailing conditions here <laughs> because we go sideways we go up and down we're pitching we're rolling we're yawing and that is not never good for for, for a sail. Uh, yo, here we go again. <laughs> Heavy stuff. To, to put the camera down and then I smell this amazing stuff. What's in here? Onions. <laughs> yes, onions. Yeah, we're gonna experiment huh. and cook curry mai mai tonight. Curry mai mai? Oh, look at this. Oh, he <laughs> has a lot of stuff here. We are, we've got a lot of Maya. Maya, so I'm trying out this different recipes. And this is a special curry. Curry blend. Curry blend. Then I'm going to make a risotto uh, rice with it. Oh. That is with the onion salt and that is with <laughs> that goes together. Oh, so. So this is going together. Yes. Oh, nice. And this is a tomato that we got from Chester. Yeah, Chester from Flo. From the little restaurant. Close Flo restaurant. He yeah. Grows it himself. He's got seven peacocks. Who's going to give us a peacock? <laughs> no. And that's a wrap guys, the Bahamas done and dusted. Patrons, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please guys, remember to give us a thumb and a sub and stay tuned as we enter the good old US of A next time.